Hi, I'm Willie and welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. So this week I'm shifting gears just a little bit. I had uh, one of my subscribers, Mike, Mike if you're out there, thank you very much, who sent me this Synology, oops, this Synology RT2600AC and he wanted to know how well will the Ubiquity access points uh, specifically the pros, how well will they work with it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try to make a video every night and we are going to get down to the bottom of what this router is all about, what it can do, and how well it works with the other Ubiquity products. So uh, I promise I'm not giving up on anything else. I just, he, he bought this. This is an expensive router. Um, you know, so he, he bought this and sent it to me and so I I told him, uh, you know, we'll do this. And I got it. I haven't taken it out of the box. We're going to do that right now. So uh, on the front of the box, it says uh, it's got a 1.7 gigahertz dual core CPU up to 2.53 gigabits per second concurrent dual band, quad stream and uh, MU MIMO, uh, MU, MU MIMO, MU MIMO. Uh, enhanced parental and traffic controls, uh, downloads, and multimedia hubs. And then on the back, it's got a little bit of a, uh, shows you how you can install it. And it says uh, more devices at even higher speeds with the MooMimo. Uh, enhance your network with advanced security usage reports and VPN solutions. DLNA certified and optimized for 4K streaming and lag-free gaming. Seamlessly transition between higher speed or longer range with Spark Connect, USB 3.0 and SD card slot for time machine support and file sharing, and it's got uh, one gigabit WAN plus four gigabit LANs or two gigabit WANs and three gigabit LANs if you're going to run in dual WAN mode. It supports uh, 802.11 ABGNAC, um, and it does do beam forming. It's got one USB 3, one USB 2, and one SD card slot. It is 3.03 .03 by 11.02 by 6.65 inches without the antenna. It weighs 1.53 pounds. It's got uh, some buttons. It's got a two-year warranty out of the box. Two years. Two-year warranty on this out of the box. And in the package, we're going to find the main unit. The power adapter, the antenna, quick installation guide, and an RJ45 LAN cable. So let's open this guy up. And this must be the main unit itself. Comes in uh, packaging. And this thing is not small uh, by any means. So here's what it looks like. And then on the back, you know, so we've got uh, power here. Uh, power button, then the power where the power cords reset. We've got a spot for uh, our antennas here. Here's a USB. Here's our WAN 1 port, and then either LAN 1 or WAN 2, and then three of the ports. Then on the side, it looks like we've got a WPS button, and we've got a Wi Fi button. There's another connector there, and another connector there for antennas. Uh, there's an eject button. Here's a USB 3. On the bottom, it has our serial number, our PIN code, our MAC address, all that good stuff. Um, it tells us what our default settings are. So the default on this is 192.168.1.1. And it also tells us what our SSID and password is out of the box. So there is the main unit. This thing, this thing is pretty beefy. Um, let's see. So here's an Edge Router X, right? And here's the Synology unit. So it is uh, <laughs> it's quite a bit bigger, but that's okay. There's a lot going on in this, and I think Synology could be poised. Oh, here's your SD card slot up here in the front. I think Synology uh, could be poised. All they have to do is change their software. You know, this thing's got multiple radios. They could do mesh. In fact, I think I read somewhere that they do. But it's pretty much all, you know, software. And, you know, they could pair it with one of their 
uh, devices, they could do some really interesting things. I mean, they, they're in a very good position. Okay. So then, if we dig into the box, we have all of our antennas. There's an antennae, antennas, I don't know. But it doesn't look like they are labeled to tell us any any different, you know, so uh, four of them come in the packages there. We've got our quick installation guide. Ethernet cable. And our AC adapter. That's a pretty nice sized AC adapter. Let's see. It is a 12 volt, 3.5 amp out. So man, that thing is that thing's almost as big. Believe it or not, this power adapter is almost as big as the edge router. That is uh, that is uh, <laughs> kind of funny. But uh, man, that thing is that thing is uh, beefy there. All right, so let's get rid of this box for a minute. And let's open up the quick start guide and see if there's any rhyme to reason for the antennas or if we just start installing those. So according to the quick start guide, you just put on the four antennas and go. There's no, you know, uh, assigned places for any of those. And then you uh, put all the antennas up at a 90 degree. And then... Uh, you plug a PC into LAN 1, and you plug the uh, router into your WAN port. And then we go to 192.168.1.1, and we follow the setup wizard. And there's also a companion app, so we're going to get into this thing. We're going to get into everything about this router. Um, and then we're going to, once we figure the router out, then we are going to pair it with... Our ubiquity I've got a couple of, of the AC pros we're gonna go ahead and pair this with the AC pros and uh, what will likely happen just because the way it is you can't you know this device uh, cannot communicate with those APs to create you know a single network so likely what will happen is we will just use this Synology as the router but we've got to look at this and and see if everything's going to be uh copacetic and and you know judging by the quick start guide i think that um this thing does a lot so we're, we're gonna we're gonna get to that but uh also you know mike sent me uh you know an email you know want to know some specific things so we will cover we will cover all of that while we're doing this so, I'm putting the last antenna on, and then you'll see what this thing looks like. It is not small. I kind of, I kind of like it. I mean, this thing is. I mean, look at this thing. It's, it's kind of impressive. You know, it's definitely way bigger than the Synology NAS. Now, that's a single disc. Uh, but uh, so, what I'm going to do now? I'm going to pause this video. I've got all kinds of edge routers hooked up, so I have to, uh, i got to pause, i got to rearrange some things, and uh, as soon as I get this hooked up, I get it powered on, we get a connection, we'll be right back. Okay, I've plugged my PC into one of the LAN ports, plugged the WAN port into my cable modem, I have rebooted my cable modem, I opened my web browser, went to 192.168.1.1, is redirected to this URL. Now, if I'm going to keep this in play this week, I need to make a few changes. I need to change the land side and the DHCP and all that good stuff. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start this. And I'm going to enter my username and password for uh, the administrator. By the way, this is slick, all done right through the web, the web GUI here. Uh, set up your Wi-Fi network. 
we'll call this uh, Synology Lab. And actually, you know what? I don't like that. Okay, Synology Lab. Uh, no, I don't remember that. Okay, set up your operation mode. Operation mode, wireless router, wireless AP. So it can be just an access point, apparently, uh, which is probably that repeater mode that they're talking about. So we're going to do wireless router, and then we're going to do external access to the SRM as disabled for now. Oh, yeah, so if we go to wireless AP, it says bridge mode. All network interfaces are bridged together and connect to the internet via another router. So we don't want to do that. We definitely want wireless router. Uh, set up your internet connection and it is going to be auto IP. We will apply that and now we get setting up Synology router. It says our router will be ready in three minutes. Please do not shut down the system during the setup. So I'm going to let this sit for three minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, so the router is rebooted and we have our login prompt, so we'll go ahead and log in. This is welcome to the router manager, so it's going to show us all the packages. And so this is kind of similar to what the Synology, the uh, NAS SAN devices walk you through, kind of this little... Keep your router updated, register, I will do that later. So let's look at the control panel real quick. Uh, system's got the little one, so it needs something here. Must be checking for a software um, update. Yeah, and it is indeed checking. And it looks like uh, 6542 is available. I wonder what's new. Let's see, and this was just released. Okay, so it added a a few more things. So I am going to, what, what kind of fixes? Oh, there are all kinds of fixes. Fixes. So I need to go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and download this. And uh, we will get this um, update shaken here. It's going to download it. So I'm going to um, stop this. Uh, update. I just, I don't know if you saw that. I got a fire, firewall notification, but I'm going to go ahead and update this to the latest version. So uh, once this is downloaded, then I will just tell it to update. It'll reboot and we'll be right back. So it downloaded the update and now it came, you know, you're very, you know, Synologies, all their screens look very similar. So here it says about 10 minutes. I don't know if it's actually going to take 10 minutes. Yeah, look, it's, it's going pretty quick. So I don't think it's going to take the entire 10 minutes, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it. I'll let you know about how long it took, and we'll be back. Okay, so it took about five minutes to get us back here. Now, uh, we still don't have Internet, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but we'll log in and see what's going on. Um, I have a call, actually, in just a couple of minutes, so um, we'll have to uh, make sure that the Internet is up and working here. I don't know if, if it's uh, working yet or not. doesn't look like it. So they're probably still negotiating with my my ISP. So we've got a control panel. We've got network center. We can bring up, it says that the internet is disconnected. So we'll take a look at that. That's different so we can do uh, wireless here and it's got auto select enable wireless downgrade USB 3.0 device to reduce interference to 2.4 gigahertz signal that's interesting I don't like that they show the SSID um, enable this option for communication between devices connected to the same Wi-Fi band so they've got AP isolation it's got scheduling, you've got WPS, uh, you've got a built-in guest network, it's got a Mac filter. Um, okay, we are now connected to the internet, that's awesome, so now I should be able to ping out. There it is, beautiful. Um, so then under internet, 
we've got a few things here. We've got our primary interface, the connection type. So for all of you that have PPPoE, looks like you can do that here. We have ISP settings, ISP settings, IPTV and voice over IP, VPN settings, IP version 6 setup. Uh, also set this as the default gateway, it can be enabled or disabled. Secondary interface, LAN 1, enable secondary interface. We're going to have to dig into some of these. We've got smart WAN, quick connect and dynamic DNS, the IP version 6 tunneling, that's nice. And it looks like we can put a 3G and 4G uh, dongle on this. We've got port forwarding, port triggering, DMZ. Here's our local network setup. So this is actually what I am going to change because I need to actually change this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 192.168.66.1. Uh, over here, the 66.1 is our IP address. Um, actually, we'll start this like 95, 192.168.66.254. Gateway will be 192.168.66.1. Primary DNS will be 66.10. Uh, domain name, how uh, x5.com. Uh, forward known DNS server disabled. We have got all kinds of, of good options here. So I'm going to apply this. And this will get us up and going. So we got it out of the box. We got it matched to our network clients uh, or to our uh, network. And so what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to dig in. We're going to see if this thing can do the do, do VLANs. If we can disable the wireless, we're going to get into all that stuff to make sure that if we're going to pair this with our ubiquity access points that we don't cause ourselves uh, any problems, any heartburn later on down the road. So that's it for this piece. Like I said, I'm going to try to get one of these out at night until we get this covered. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use the Amazon affiliate links down below. They don't change your price, but uh, they kick a few bucks to the channel to keep, keep things rolling, keep the lab going, and be able to do these awesome videos. So once again, my name's Willie, and I'll see you in the next video.